Okay, so now let's look at this third level a little bit. Okay, the, before we start that though, I want you to understand, I'm gonna go back to the A minor, which is the sixth chord, or in theory, we, we'd call it A aeolian. Aeolian is the sixth chord. But, you know, very seldom do you go up to somebody and say, hey, um, you know, kryptonite by three doors down is in B aeolian. People are gonna go, okay, fancy pants. Right? We call it B minor, right? Because we do. Again, we can argue about Aeolian and blah, 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 but that's what we're doing. Okay? So we don't really say Aeolian, which is the sixth chord. We just say minor. That's the slang that we use. Okay? So I'm going to go back to this A minor one. Now we're going to get to the next level that some of you had asked about. But before we do that, let me once again reiterate. As the A minor is playing, and the D minor is playing, and the F major is playing, and the G major is playing in this rhythm track, as every song, just about that you've ever heard in your life, has chord changes, every time there's a chord change, you're not switching modes. Right? When you play... <laughs> Angus isn't sitting there going, I wonder what mode that is. I wonder what we're supposed to be doing here. He's not thinking about it like that. He's just playing, right? Because all the chords are part of a bigger picture, which is the key that you're in. So as long as you can understand that all four of these chords, A minor, D minor, F, and G, are all part of the key of A minor, which is really the key of C. That's all that's happening. So if you're micro, you know, dissecting and going, well, when the A minor comes up, I need to be in A minor, but when the D minor comes up, I need to be in uh, D Dorian, but then when the F chord, no, 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 no. You can think about it like that all you want, but you're just going to make yourself crazy because that's happening organically anyway. You can't control that, okay? If you want to really think of it on that tiny, uh, minute little level, in theory, I suppose that's what's happening. But that's what's happening in every song ever. Sweet Home Alabama, it's happening. But you don't think of it. You just, you know, because it's chords. They're just chords that are happening that are part of a key. And we accept that as okay. But when we go to solo over the top, all of a sudden we start going, oh, well, if I'm going to solo over this, then D has to be mixolydian. But then C, I've got to solo in Lydian. Well, then G, no, man, you were doing greater when you were just rocking in pentatonic. It sounded better. And hopefully that makes sense to you. You can try and go way deep in there, but you're just going to drive yourself crazy because you're looking at it from the wrong angle. That's, in theory, yes, I suppose harmonically that's what's happening. A minor is A minor, and or A aeolian, and D minor is uh, Dorian, and so on. But we got to zoom back out again and go, hey, we're just in the key of A minor here. We're just in the key of C, right? Okay. So now, I go to my guitar and I'm going to solo over this track. And this is going to go for everything that you do from here on out, whether it's modes or not. You're going to start, let's start with step one. Step one is, yes, paralysis through analysis. You got it, Andrew. That's exactly right. And hopefully you're all with me. Hopefully I haven't lost anybody with what I just said. Okay? I'm just saying before you started modes, you never thought about it that way. You never micro-dissected anything. You just took the song for what it was and had fun with it. But now that we're learning these, we're going, okay, so every time there's a chord progression, I got to switch modes. I got to, no, 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 no. Okay? You don't want to do that. So now, step one, I'm going to now take this key, which right now I'm dealing with the key of C, which is fine, right? And I want to set it on my fretboard. Whether or not you know this much or this much, or this much, or this much, or this much, is entirely up to you. Okay? But please understand that once you apply the key of C to the fretboard, however much of the key of C that you know, no matter where you go on the fretboard, you're in the key of C. If I play the C major scale here, I'm in the key of C. If I go down here, I'm still in the key of C. If I go up here, I'm still in the key of C which means I'm also in the key of D Dorian. No matter where I go, I'm in the key of D Dorian. Now please stay with me for a second. No matter where I go, I'm in the key of E Phrygian, or F Lydian, or G Mixolydian, or A minor, A Aeolian. No matter where I go, 
we are programmed as guitar players to go, oh, it's in A, so I got to go to the fifth fret. Oh, it's in G, so I got to go to the third fret. We're programmed that way because we've learned our chords and all these kind of things that way. But the truth is that's, that's not true. You don't have to go to those places. I could stay in this one spot like I've been doing, like I've been showing you this entire time. I never have to go anywhere. And I can make this sound like C major or D Dorian or E Phrygian or F Lydian or G Mixolydian by doing what Joe just said, emphasizing notes. It's not about where you go on the fretboard. It's about what you do when you get there. 